This is my only company, but now, and I don't vote for nobody. This is my only politics here. The road fix you come for fame. Go on for me back here and go back in the ministry. Yeah. What fame you come for? All the time this man was falling. Now, where were you? Where were you when this man was falling? The man have no authority. What's your condition? What are you talking about? Where you come now for? Man, go for me, Mr. Go for me. No, I don't want to see you. All the time when the man out is going to fight me. What the fuck, the man out is? What? You're coming now when you're done. I can't even go for a day ago. And put roads where there were tracks, mm -hmm. and put drains where there were ravines, and put schools where there were none, and right. put health offices where there were none, and put police stations where there were none. And today, people can park their cars in their garages, <laughs> two and three cars sometimes. And they put the government electricity and water and allow the private companies to put cables so the children living in this community have access to the internet they have running water many of the cesspits that we had are now gone to sewer systems we do have some cesspits around still and we have an ongoing program treating with that so this collapsed but this is not new in this part of my constituency i am aware of ue studies I read a report years ago when I was a member for Lavender East Mover, conducted by the Yuri who we had brought into the area. And they identified that this whole area, Parsley Street, Upper Parsley Street, is fraught with many springs. So these are underground springs. And as they flow, it causes subsidence. And therefore, you find a lot, a lot of this. If you go around here, you will see a lot of houses and structures cracked. And where we did concrete work, we were still breaking away, disappearing. Somebody would have put a wall, but the foundation of that wall would be well above the, the subsistence springs, yeah. taking place below. So it's an ongoing problem. This is just another one of them. Of course, this is exacerbated by surface water as well, mm -hmm. where people have homes without guttering. Where, where we have drains that are not connected to anything. I just saw up there a big drain, well constructed, but it is as dry as you can have it because nothing runs to it. Some Trinidadian individual contractor team would have done that folly. So now the water runs on the road and it goes down the road and when we pave it, the water erodes it not too long after. So we have serious issues. So and we have, have this problem, now. and this morning as Member of Parliament, aware of this matter from the job, because the councillor would have gotten a report on it, she contacted me very promptly a few days ago, before your story. And I am happy that you are here. So this morning, because while I have a responsibility as Member of Parliament, I can't fix the problem, neither could the news day. So I brought along the professionals, the engineers from the regional corporation, the Sawa Lavender Regional Corporation, which is represented in this area by Councillor Adana Griffith Gordon, a very hard working public servant. And I brought along the Ministry of Works and Transport, the Pure Division, as I did in the project I told you that was successfully, the two projects in this general area that was successfully completed within the last year. So I brought along Mr. Rudolfo of the Pure Program, an engineer as well. And what's your name? Yes, Ram Mr. Ram Kisun, the engineer from the uh, regional corporation. And as experts and professionals, as they always do, they will assess the situation. Mm -hmm. And they will issue a report to their leaders who will share that with me as member of parliament and of course a way forward in the result of the But then, in light of the 
larger issue of the subsidence caused by the springs in the area, mm -hmm. I am quite clear that we have to have deeper and more meaningful conversations about the future for communities like these, because we can fix this. But once that problem continues, in another 15, 20 years, we might be here again. So I have urged the younger men of the community to take note that Laventel has always been a very transient community where people come and when their circumstances improve, they move on. Sometimes to Toronto, sometimes to London, most times to New York. But more than that, as the government created housing projects around Trinidad and Tobago, there are many of my constituents even before I came here, who would have accepted the offers for housing in Orapoon, in Bonnier Gardens, in Trin City, supported by the state, and all the other developments in Trinidad and Tobago. So in the spirit of that transient community, there are people who would leave. But those who are here, remain here. And we have to think about them and their future. All right. So we have serious discussions.